Hey guys, so this upcoming week should be an interesting week as Apple now plans to release iOS 26 Public Beta 1 and the fourth Developer Beta. Now, if you've been keeping track, you know that Apple has been releasing new betas every two weeks. Now, tomorrow on Monday, July the 21st, marks exactly two weeks since Apple released iOS 26, the third Developer Beta. Now, it is rumored that Apple is now planning to launch the first public beta alongside the fourth Developer Beta here in this upcoming week. And we'll talk about some of the changes we can expect, some of the features we can expect moving forward with iOS 26. But I also want to talk about some of the current bugs and issues that I've encountered over the past two weeks of using the third Developer Beta. And then we'll talk about the release schedule moving forward. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is some of the current bugs that I've experienced after using iOS 26 Developer Beta to three for nearly two weeks now and the first thing i want to talk about is airpods by the way we're also expecting the fourth firmware update beta for airpods as well this upcoming week so again a busy week now with airpods over the past two weeks or so i've noticed that sometimes the airpods menu freezes in the settings application sometimes i can't tap into the settings and options to adjust the settings of airpods or sometimes when i close my airpods the menu doesn't disappear it's just glitchy sometimes it doesn't happen every single Single time it either sticks when you close your airpods just like so or it will freeze where you can't go into the menu and it glitches out just like that so yeah i'm happy that that happened on camera because yeah sort of glitchy firmware on airpods with the latest airpods 3 beta and also developer beta for ios 26 something minor but i think apple will you know address that and polish that up a little bit here moving forward with the next developer beta now something else very interesting that continues to happen is that my home screen icons sometimes disappear. Either the dock or the home icons disappear or all together, just like this screenshot right here. Now I posted this on social media and you guys were saying that this is the true liquid glass, but no, this is an actual bug that sometimes when I unlock my iPhone, my icons, disappear from the home screen, which is kind of interesting. Now there's two new features coming to the phone application in iOS 26. One is the call screening and the other one is the hold assist. Now both of these features have been having issues within the third beta, especially the hold assist feature. If I try using this feature, sometimes it won't go back to the current call and I have to hang up. So yeah, hopefully we'll see some of these bugs being addressed here with the fourth developer beta. Again, the call screening sometimes doesn't want to work and freezes my iPhone and the hold assist sometimes forces me to just hang up the call if I was on hold and I can't get back to my phone call. Now, Apple will continue to address liquid glass and the new design with future betas. That is to be expected. Apple may add additional tinted glass options, refinements to the OS, for example, here. Let me show you under display and brightness. If you notice there, we have the old iOS 18 wallpapers. That could change to the iOS 26. Something minor, but just, you know, something just as reference as Apple will continue to polish up the software just adding minor tweaks and changes that need to be put in place before the official release of ios 26 which obviously will happen sometimes towards mid-september now i also want to talk about liquid glass because apple continues to tweak liquid glass and many users really want the option to just adjust the intensity of liquid glass we put this concept here together with the updated wallpapers for display and brightness as you see right there and a new slider that allows you to you know choose how much liquid glass you use on your device. Now, I don't think Apple will ever do something like this, but I would definitely love to see something like this happen. And again, Apple, I don't think will do it, but we'll have to wait and see. Apple will continue to tweak liquid glass. Now, with all that being said, I wanna talk about some of the features we're still waiting on for Apple to add to iOS 26. Now, according to Mark Gurman, Apple plans to add two additional features moving forward. We're looking forward to live translation, a feature that's set to be coming to AirPods. So AirPods with live translation, the new firmware for AirPods may add this moving forward, maybe the fourth firmware update for AirPods and the fourth developer beta. I'll keep you guys posted, but yeah, live translation is set to be coming to AirPods Pro 2 and AirPods fourth generation. And now Apple is also working to bring a new Wi-Fi sync assist. So a public Wi-Fi sync assist. So let's say you stay at a hotel room and you log into the Wi-Fi network at the hotel room. Well, this feature will allow your iPhone to actually sign in and, you know, let all your other devices use the same Wi-Fi network without having to log in in each individual device. So basically a sync across device Wi-Fi connection for public Wi-Fi on all your iCloud devices, which is convenient, right? 
because if you stay at a hotel room, you log into your Wi-Fi, you open up your Mac, you're already connected to the internet, which is pretty cool. So something that we should be looking forward to here within the next beta. I'm also expecting Apple to add more tinted glass. Keep in mind that Apple did share a new video with developers on how to add tinted glass elements to their application and how all that works. And we'll have to wait and see, but yeah, expect more refinements overall, more changes to liquid glass. Now, I also wanna talk about the new emojis. A lot of you guys are asking, are we gonna get the new emojis? Keep in mind that the new emojis are now basically approved, but new emojis don't typically hit the latest iOS version until the point four update. So next year we'll see the new emojis added to iOS with iOS 26.4. Now, with all that being said, let's talk about the release schedule again tomorrow on Monday, July the 21st. Marks exactly two weeks since Apple released iOS 26 developer beta three. If you're keeping track, obviously that means tomorrow we could expect the fourth developer beta and then a day or two later, according to Mark Gurman, the first public beta for iOS 26 on the 22nd or the 23rd of July. So I'll keep you guys posted again. We're also expecting the fourth AirPods from our update in form of beta as well. So a busy week moving forward. Let me know what you would like to see Apple add or change to iOS 26 in those comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.